small steps for man, one giant leap for mankind. The inspiring story of O Hell, it started with a single step, a small movement in the direction of positive change. I think O Hell is, um, can give everybody a chance to be what they can be. Because of O Hell, I'm taking giant leaps. Prior to coming to foster care, I didn't have a traditional family. I was a, a single parent household. Through OHEL, my giant leap was learning what it was to really have a family. When you find something that you're passionate about, it doesn't have to be just about giving money to the organization. You can give up your time as well and, your, and really your love and your heart. In Camp Cayley, OHEL has created a model of inclusion that other elements of the Jewish community would be well served to emulate. OHEL has also demonstrated over a long period of time the stability of the organization. A strong organization in the community deals with so many issues in a very professional way and really just make a Kiddush Hashem all the time. Yussi and Goldie, they are celebrating their 25th anniversary next month. They live in OHEL supported housing. Survivor and graduate of OHEL's domestic violence shelter. Dr. Paimon Rabi, in o he was in OHEL foster care from 1989 to 1999, and did you notice I began his name with the word doctor? Is that not amazing? Well, I've been involved with OHEL for about 36 years. They spoke about cases that came under their direction one of them was about a foster care child that came to OHL, of course, mandated by the government. And this young child came to OHL because, unfortunately, his father put cigarette butt burns on his hand. And it was just mind-boggling how this could happen. How long, though, have you been involved with OHL? Um, unfortunately, only 27 years. <laughs> only 27? Uh, yeah, it's a small amount for most of the people uh, active. And um, I said, what's OHEL? And several hours later, um, I said, uh, I will consider it, but I first want to see a board meeting. So I came to the board meeting. I was completely blown away, not only by what was discussed and the problems that were being tackled, but the quality of the people serving on the board. And I was hooked since then. We continue to work with individuals, young people, unfortunately, who experience um, thoughts about suicide. Uh, we work with individuals. Technology is a wonderful thing, Brett. <laughs> it really creates progress, but at the same time, it also leaves people behind. Yes, yes. It also leaves people isolated. Those are the thoughts that we have about 2020 and beyond. The noble mission of OHEL has been unchanged. To bring safety to the defenseless and to say to every person, you belong. Your gifts of generosity and compassion, though they may seem small to you, they multiply. For when you elevate the life of one person, it spreads to everyone their life touches. So tonight, we ask for your support of OHEL. Sign up to be a volunteer. Encourage your friends and family to get involved. Make a financial contribution. Become an OHEL leader. All of it matters. All of it makes a difference. Dear friends, this is your moment to shine.